Hey, hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Victor, I'm a French artist and welcome to all of my uh, new artist friends here. So I'm currently in the middle of my uh, living room on my carpet. And yes, I'm wearing uh, my Sunday uh, outfit. This is not a fashion video. Maybe don't you don't know, but I love to um, uh, refurbish things and uh, DIY uh, home decor and a lot of things. And uh, I thought to myself, why not showing you the new thing that I'm going to do? So I got a mirror uh, of my family-in-law. Uh, I got a, an, an antique uh, mirror that I need to uh, redo the, the frame. And yeah, I will show you now. So let me show you. This mirror is in pretty good condition, except that I don't like the dark brown uh, wood. So I will uh, completely uh, change it and make it gold to fit my own decor. As you see here, we have some wood plates that retains the glass from, for, uh, from falling out of the frame. So I've decided to remove it uh, so it will be easier to work on the, the frame alone. If you don't have that uh, and if you can't remove the glass, you will need to use some tape to protect the glass. So before uh, doing anything, we need to clean the wood because it is waxed. Uh, it is like oily. Uh, you will see it is dirty and really yellow. So I finished cleaning this in my garage because it was so messy. But yeah, it came out uh, pretty good. So I'm back here in the studio. Uh, the my piece of frame, my piece of wood frame is now completely dry. I've cleaned everything with some uh, dish, dish, sorry, dish soap. I think it is, and water. And yeah, uh, it removes all of the oily surface that we used to put on wood. And then I'm going to sand everything, uh, lightly sand with some uh, sanding paper and uh, 200 grit to 400 grit, 100, uh, grit. And then I'm going to paint all of the frame in black, in matte black, just to have a smooth uh, black surface on the, entire, on the entire frame. And then I'm going to put my leaves on top and try to age the leaves with some sanding paper just to give a nice antique look and then we are going to um, to varnish everything because the leaves needs to be varnished because this is not real gold this is uh, copper gold so yeah so before that, I need to sand the piece lightly just so I don't have any small bits of wood. And then I will need to clean the wood with some alcohol or here I'm using a glass cleaner. Then it is time to paint the entire frame. I'm using black because I want the black showing through my uh, gold leaves when I will um, send the leaves to have a more antique look and a more used look. So yeah, that's why I, I've painted everything in black. This part was fairly easy. Uh, the only thing that I need to do is resand the piece lightly, just a tiny bit. So uh, the, the matte black paint is really smooth. And then I'm reapplying some black where uh, I have some missing areas. So now it is time to uh, apply the gold leaf glue. It is called Mixion. It is special. It is made for leaves. 
you will need to apply it with a small brush or a foam brush uh, as you see here then wait till it dries it, it take like 15 minutes to 20 minutes and then you can apply your uh, leaves on top So here I'm applying gently the leaves and I'm going uh, on top with uh, the excess leaves and uh, where I got missing part. This is a long process but the result is really, uh, yeah, you cannot beat this result with a simple uh, spray of gold paint, it is not the same. Here you can see uh, the gold leaf edges and the cracks in the leaves that's what makes the your frame really uh, luxur luxurious and made by uh, a professional yeah I really like this technique you can leave it uh, really shiny like that by just using a regular uh, spray varnish in gloss but as you know uh, I don't like uh, shiny uh, frame like this so I wanted to have a more matte look that's why I've applied some uh, matte spray varnish on top so here you can see I got some missing parts and before that I need to clean everything with my vacuum cleaner to remove any gold dust that stays in the molding areas or uh, anywhere and then I will reapply my gold leaf glue on certain areas where uh, there are uh, too much uh, missing part of gold so here I'm reapplying uh, the gold leaves on top of the missing areas Here you can see and you can see nothing it is really seamless so here I'm using a small microfiber uh, cloth just to remove any uh, bits of dust of gold and to polish also the gold now it is the front part it is the part where I'm going to aging uh, to age the frame for, so for this I'm using a 400 grit uh, sanding paper and I will try to focus on the angle part of the frame and I will try to go really slow and remove only the gold and let the black show through the gold. So here that's what I've done. I'm removing here with some alcohol. I'm removing all of my uh, grease from my hands or uh, yeah anything before applying the, the spray varnish. So here I'm using a spray varnish that it is matte. So I have a beautiful uh, matte satin finish on top of my gold. I will let my varnish dry an afternoon or a day and then I'm going to clean my glass before uh, assemble the new frame. Try to find a rug or a blanket or something underneath your glass so you don't break it or scratch it. So now it is time to reassemble everything. I will reput the glass on the frame and then I will reapply the little piece of wood to secure the glass into the frame. So I will apply a little bit of wood glue and instead of these uh, little nails, uh, there are only two, uh, I will use some staple, some wood uh, staple, it is made for uh, walls and wood and it is really easy to apply. So now that my frame is assembled, I can now uh, put it on my wall and here is the result. I really love the contrast between my dark blue walls and the gold frame. 
I, I really love this uh, mirror. So tell me in the comments what are your thoughts about this mirror and the frame. And yeah, I hope you've liked this video. It is a little bit different than my, than my usual video, but uh, yeah, I will upload a new art video soon, maybe this week or uh, next week. If I got time to edit everything, I wish you all a great day and see you for another video. Bye. Bye, guys.